everyone, I'm Marissa Sarbach. Welcome to The Buzz, Newsday's weekly series covering the hottest trends in music, movies, TV, and more. When you think of Christmas, you think of Santa Claus, presents under the tree, and of course, Christmas music. Joining us on the show today, the queen of Christmas herself and the voice behind the iconic song, Christmas Baby Please Come Home, Miss Darlene Love. Darlene, first of all, thank you so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. I'm usually on the road. So at least I'm sitting down and talking to everybody. <laughs> I know, I know you've been so busy this holiday season, so we really appreciate it. I have to tell you, first of all, that song just puts me in the holiday spirit like nothing else. And I know it's played nonstop during the holiday season. Everybody knows it. So many artists have covered it. When you recorded it back in the 60s, did you ever think in 2020 it would still be such a classic? No way, because <laughs> number one, it was a brand new song. And nobody has really did brand new Christmas songs. You just sing all the old ones and that'll just have to do. But when Phil Spector came up with this one, it's like, are y'all sure? <laughs> <laughs> but the more we heard it and the more we were doing the recording and add, Phil adding everything to it, we got through with the session and everybody was just sitting around in amazement because we thought the song was so great. You knew it was a hit right away. I knew it, but I didn't think they, it was going to catch on. You know, you know, Christmas songs take a long time to catch mm -hmm. on. But when we put this one out, uh, John Kennedy had just been assassinated. So Phil Spector pulled it back and then he, he, he didn't put it out again to the following Christmas and it didn't do that well. But in 19, I think it was 72 when he went to Europe, he re-released re -released it and it just took off. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? You really never know with anything. And I know, well, Darlene, with COVID, you have not been able to be on physical tour this year, but you do have something else up your sleeve. Can you tell us about the virtual Christmas concert you've been doing? Lord, that was a good one. Because <laughs> no audience is so hard. I know uh, I, I'm, I can speak for most entertainers. Our audiences gives us energy. And to be to sing and not to hear anything after you get through singing, I had to tape a few songs again because I'm like, what happened? Are wow. we done? You know, <laughs> like, okay. And, but other than that, we had to be careful. You know, we had to follow all the rules. We, uh, it was different for us this time because mostly all the ladies dress in the same dressing room, but we all had our little corner and we couldn't go into anybody's corner. We had to talk from a distance. <laughs> But it really came out great. I was so proud of it. This was my first endeavor to try to do a uh, pay-per-view for all my fans. But it worked out great. Uh, they're really watching it, and they're so happy about it that they can still be with me at Christmas time. And uh, the comments are, well, we love it, and it was really great, but mm -hmm. I sure hope next year we can see you in person. Uh, that honestly <laughs> must be so nice to hear. You really do make everybody's holiday season. It must have been such a great feeling to get back on stage as well, to be performing again, even without the audience there. It really was. You know, it's amazing. Physically, I'm in pretty good shape, but you don't realize your voice is a, mu a muscle also. And I hadn't sang in over a year. And that was the hardest part. We It took us 14 hours to tape this. And uh, for somebody that's singing every year around this time, my voice is very loose and very I ha don't have any trouble with it. But I started singing, I went, wow, this is tougher than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Do you think having an audience there also helps you kind of push through it and that gives you the adrenaline rush? Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. Because after you finish the song, they either gonna like it or they don't. So they show you how much they love it and appreciate you doing these songs, especially the Christmas songs. You know, they just love Christmas. The songs that I get now because I'm hearing more comments than ever you know, on the, the screen about how they love Christmas Baby and how it lifts their spirits. So that really makes me happy that we did the pay-per-view. Yeah, it does. Every year it just keeps coming back. Better and better. Everybody loves it. And Darlene, we, since we've been in quarantine, most people have been proud of themselves for either changing out of sweatpants or just leaving the house some days. You, on the other hand, have been extremely busy. In addition to the virtual Christmas concert, you're in a new Christmas movie on Netflix right now, which I adore, Christmas Chronicles 2. I want to play a quick clip from that so everybody can see it. Okay. You need a spirit of Christmas. The spirit of Christmas. Tell it, Santa. Yeah, the spirit of Christmas never goes away. Never goes away. The spirit of Christmas. The spirit of Christmas. 
Did you have as much of a blast as it looks like you're having as much of a blast? We had so much fun because we were stuck in this airport, about a thousand people. <laughs> Thank God we hadn't, the, the COVID hadn't hit yet. <laughs> and so it was a lot of fun. I was the information lady. And uh, you know, people want to know when their flight is going to leave. So it was crazy right up to that point. And, but when we started the phone, the song, everybody like, oh, okay. Uh, okay, you're gonna lift us up. You lift our spirits because it was five feet of snow outside. So, and nobody was going nowhere. <laughs> Where did you shoot this and how long did it take to do the whole number? We were in Canada and it took two weeks just for that part of the, the movie for me. You know, you think you're gonna be, you see the scene and you see the song and everything. How could this take more than, you know, two or three <laughs> days? Oh uh, yeah, right. <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> wow, what was it like to work with Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn and the whole team on that? Everybody was so spirit filled. The, the song that Stevie Van Zandt wrote for the movie was the spirit of Christmas. And just the title alone for this time of the year it was perfect, the spirit of Christmas. And that's what Santa kept saying. We need the spirit of Christmas. And he is so great. I mean, he's funny. He's a lot of fun to hang out with. So, you know, it was great. We didn't get, I didn't do any scenes with, um, with Goldie, with Goldie. Mm -hmm. just with him and the kids. So it was really great. Well, everybody seemed like they were having an absolute blast with it. So I hope that everybody does get a chance to watch it on Christmas Day or whenever because it really is just a great movie. Darlene, I know you've been busy right now, but do you have anything planned for 2021? Have you thought about that yet? Uh, trying to. It's a few, uh, as we say, few sticks in the fire. But with the COVID, you never know if you're going to, when you're going to, or whatever. But I'm physically staying fit because I know that eventually we will be back out there. So I'm trying to finish a gospel album. I'm trying to finish, and you know, uh, with, with the pay-per-view, it took a lot of my energy, you know, so it took a while for me to come down, but I'm so excited about going into the new year and hoping that this disease is gone. And you know, at least by summertime, we'll all be able to get back out there again because no one really wants to go into a room of two or 3,000 people all closed in, you know, with, without this disease being taken care of. Darlene, you've recorded with so many acclaimed artists in the past. You have uh, so many songs, I couldn't even count them. Who has been your favorite to work with so far? Well, you know what? I worked with people that I never dreamed I'd work with, uh, namely um, Elvis Presley. Yeah. I never thought in my wildest imagination that I'd ever have a chance to work with him. And the great thing I think that I loved working with Elvis, he loves gospel music. And I came from a gospel background. So he would go get his guitar while we were filming. And he'd say, do you know this song? Do you know this song? So we were busy somewhere singing where they always had to look for us when it was time to shoot. So that was very, very special for me especially that we had something in common together. Yeah, it's nice to have those memories to hold on to nowadays. Yes, it really is. <laughs> if you could pick one artist from today's music scene, anybody in the young, new, and up-and-coming generation, who would you pick to work with? Um, Adele, I love yeah. her. I think Adele's voice is one of those kind of voices that you don't expect people to grab hold to, you know, they love her voice, but you know, they want to hear something else. And I, I thank God that there is room for all of us out there in our business. And her, her voice is so wonderful and, and stern and, and full of vigor and, and full of spirit that I just love her. I'm gonna work with her one day too, or this is all over. <laughs> I believe it, I know. You are a busy lady and you get so much done. Darlene, thank you so much for keeping us all entertained during the holidays and honestly, especially this year when people could really use an extra reason to smile. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. God bless and please be safe. Yes, you too <laughs> and to everybody out there. Thank you so much for your time. Alrighty, bye-bye.
To learn more about Darlene Love and to see other episodes of The Buzz, go to Newsday.com slash The Buzz. If you're looking for something to watch at home with the family, Christmas Chronicles 2 is available on Netflix right now. And Darlene's virtual Christmas concert is streaming until Christmas Day. Tickets for that are available on SonyHall.com. Till next time, I'm Marissa Sarbak. Happy holidays and we will see you in the new year.